So I want to take a quick look at using the marquee here in Logic. The easiest way to use the marquee is to first make sure you have a region selected. So I'm going to move off this track and back onto it. Track 18, guitar one, track 19, audio six, group. So we're on audio six. When you move off a track and onto it, it selects all the regions that are on the track. So now I can convert that region selection into a marquee selection by pressing command shift backslash. And the backslash is the one that's right under your backspace or delete key on the keyboard. And that sets the marquee selection, but the marquee selection is for the entire length of whatever region is selected or all the selected regions on the track. So I can set the start point to wherever I want it to be. In this case, measure 23. So I'm now I'm going to navigate to measure 23 with period and comma. 24 bars one, 23 bars one, beat one. So I can set the marquee start point with command left bracket. And I'm going to measure, navigate to measure 24. 24 bars one, beat one, tick. And set the marquee endpoint with command right bracket. And if I hit space, you'll notice it only plays the marquee selection, which is a nice thing about using the marquee selection instead of locators. And there you go, only plays the marquee selection. And you may also notice that command left bracket and command right bracket are the same key commands that you use to trim the start and end of a region. And these are granular key commands that depend on what's going on. So if you have a marquee selection, command left and right brackets will set the start and end of a marquee selection. But if there isn't a marquee selection, command left and right brackets will set the start and end of a region and allow you to trim a region. All right, so now that we get this marquee selection, I'm gonna hit delete. Track 20, guitar one, dirty group. Because I wanted to get rid of what's there. So if I hit space. 24 bars, two beats, 332 ticks. 23 bars, one beat one. You see that started playing measure 24. But if I hit space again now, 23 bars, two beats. You see there is no guitar at measure 23. And the nice thing about marquee selections is you don't have to split the regions first before you can cut copy or delete. And I'm going to demonstrate that now because now I'm going to copy something and paste it here. So I'm going to move up the track and back onto it to select it again. Track 20, track 19, audio 6, group. So now all the regions are selected. I'm going to set a marquee selection with command shift backslash. And I'm going to navigate to measure 19. 22, 21, 20 bars, 19 bars, 1 beat, 1 tick. Set my marquee start point here. And navigate to measure 20. 20 bars, 1 beat, 1 tick. Set my marquee endpoint there. And this should be the same chord that I just deleted later in the project. 19 bars, 1 beat, 1 tick. Yep. So now if I hit command C, I'm going to copy this. Copy. And now I'm going to do command shift D to deselect everything right now because the problem with a marquee is it will just keep playing that marquee selection on its own so I have to deselect the marquee selection before it will play a different part of the project so I'm going to navigate back to measure 23 21 bar 22 23 bars one beat one tick and if I hit space right here 23 see, bars one beat one tick you see that's the blank spot we cut before that we deleted before so now if I do command V, Pace. 23 bars, one beat, one tick, 23 bars. And if I back up, 22 bars, one beat, 24 bars, four. And there you go. That's how to do a quick edit with marquee. And as I mentioned before, the thing about marquee selection is that whatever the marquee region is, is selected, um, is the only part of the project that will play while you have a marquee selection. And so marquee really only works when you know what part of this project you want to copy and paste from. So for example, if I move off this track and back onto it, track 18, guitar, track 19, audio six, group. So now all the regions on the track are selected. If I hit a marquee selection with command shift backslash, um, despite the fact that the playhead is at 21 bars, one beat, one tick. measure 21, if I hit space, 17 bars, one beat, one tick. 17 bars. it starts playing for measure 17 because that's where the marquee selection starts and it will play all the way through to measure 25 because that's the length of this track right now. It goes from measure 17 to measure 25. So 
even though I can set a marquee selection to now only be from measure, say, measure 20 to 22, I can move to 18, 19, 20 bars, one beat, one tick. Command left bracket. 21 bar, 22 bars, one beat, one tick. And command right bracket. Uh, you'll see now if I hit space. 20 bars, one beat, one tick. It only plays that area. So yeah, you do have to kind of know what area you want to work with. If you don't, then you can use the locator method of making selections. All right, hope you found that helpful and useful and that will make your editing life a little bit easier in Logic.